Yeah, Macron is a former Rothschild banker, and he won in the election. I'm going to break down basically the context of this election, and all of you Melanchon fans in my chat, I got a treat for you, because y'all got to grow the fuck up. Corbyn, Bernie, same Syriza in Greece, the same bullshit keeps fucking happening, and you don't learn. Please learn from the mistake and recognize that the left is dead. It's dead. They are agents of the establishment and they're not able to respond to this era. Melon Cuck got so fucking antsy and scared of Le Pen out of this false anti-fascist sentiment. It's this neurosis of liberalism that leftists always have. You had it in the US with Bernie, you had it with Corbyn, with Brexit, you had it in France with Melanchon. So, and you also had it in Greece with Syriza. So let's just recognize that leftists are a problem. The left is a problem. Melanchon is a problem. And I'm going to give you a, a, I'm going to do a deep dive and I'm going to break down to you why he was such a piece of shit. Okay. First, this is the victory speech from Mr. Melanchon. Making France a great ecological nation is our project. So... That, so he's, you know, it's, 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 it's like he's a, he's a former Rothschild banker. He's the protege of the Davos agenda. And he's basically talking about this new Great Reset Malthusian era. Making France a great ecological nation is our project. Huh. That sounds pretty innocuous. So I guess if you're a dumbass, you're going to like look at that and you're going to think, oh, what Macron must be talking about, he's like, oh, we're going to plant more trees and we're going to have a friendly tree, green country. No, there's so much more. There's so much more. Macron had a fuel tax a few years ago, which led to the Yellow Vest protests. And by the way, Melanchon was supposed to be the, the winner of the, the Yellow Vest protests. I mean, he was the guy who not only gained the most from the protests, but he was also the guy who theorized what the Yellow Vests were before they even happened in his pretty good book, The Era of the People, right, which predicted populism, the rise of populism. So I'll give him that. But Macron is the premier enemy of the French working class. He's like the supervillain. And Mélenchon should have recognized that after the Yellow Vest, that holy shit, I gained so much from anti-Macron populism. The only problem is that you also have this issue of the right, or the far right, right? Or in the form of Marine Le Pen, or Eric Zemmour. So what should the strategy of Melanchon, a socialistic or a communist guy, what should the strategy be when dealing with Macron? Well, what was Melanchon's strategy? Let's look at that, and then let's look at the outcome and, and what, the, what that resulted in, basically, right? So, first of all, we're gonna, like, we're gonna review the, the biggest pile of coping shit Magazine, Jacobin, shit rag, Jacobin magazine, cope, cope a bin, cope in a bin, cope in a bin magazine, where they're basically gonna like cope a shit ton about what the fuck happened and say, La you know, you know, should we just start calling Jacobin lost potential magazine? Melanchon may have lost, but he opened our horizon that another world is possible. You know who this symbol of Jacobin magazine is? It's Salvador Allende. It's Salvador Allende. Allende is the symbol of Jacobin magazine because what what Jacobin loves is lost potentials. Oh, it, this is what this is how a cuck thinks. You know how every fucking loser is like, oh no, what matters is results. It's you could have been, should have been, would have been. It doesn't fucking matter. What matters is the result. Okay, and this is the biggest cuck old magazine. Melanchon defied the smears and provided hope. Is that what he did? He provided hope. Can I eat hope? What is hope? Can I eat that? Can I can I fuel my car with that? What the fuck is hope? Dude, this guy had everything going for him. The yellow vest protests gave Melanchon everything. He has no reason. He has no excuse for having lost. None. None. Yeah, they're the beautiful loser fucking magazine. Melanchon had everything provided to him on a silver platter and he still fucked it up. That's an incredible level of incompetence. That is an inexcusable level of incompetence, right? After years of media attempts to cast him as divisive and soft on Islamism, he took a historic high vote in France's election. Yeah, because of the yellow vests. 
Leftist MP Daniel Ob and and the Muslim popular the Muslims and the Yellow Vest went out in droves for Melanchon. Yes, but that's not enough. That's that was the problem. That's why he didn't win. Never mind deeper challenges like climate change. What? Macron is the candidate of climate change. What the fuck are you talking about? Right? Let, let's like look at how they explain their cope. The first round is to produce strong love. It produced a strong result. We didn't win, but it was a strong result. It provided hope. He was he wasn't pro Islamic communalism. He secured 22%, beating not only his 2017 result, but even his best poll ratings. Okay. Okay, so this is this guy being interviewed. Is anyone going to talk about why he failed? Or are you just going to talk about how he gave people hope? Well, he gave them hope. He gave, What is hope? Can you eat that? What is that? That does... What is hope? Because it sounds like cope to me. And look, look, we, we are, they, they haven't learned anything. This is easy. It's like on easy mode. Bernie, then Corbyn. You had all of these lessons of history to learn from. How did Melanchon like say, oh, let's, just, let's do the same shit we did before. This time it'll be different. Okay, here's where I'm going to start getting pissed, and I'm going to start going beast mode on this shit, because just just bear with me, okay? Because this is going to get fun. This is going to get fun. 42% of first-round Melanchon voters backed Macron. 42 of Melanchon's first-round voters backed Macron. Melanchon told his supporters, Oh, I'm not going to endorse anyone, but don't vote for Marine Le Pen. So he was endorsing Macron, but he was too much of a pussy to do so. So that was his thing. We're gonna we're gonna endorse Macron, just like Bi Bernie endorsed Biden and Corbyn endorsed Remain. So fucking stupid. Keep doing the same shit, right? And then if you look at the actual result of the election, so forty two percent of the first round voters of Melanchon voted for Macron, which means they tipped it. If had they not voted, because that's like an easy ten percent, right? They pretty much tipped it. If those people voted for Le Pen, she could have won. If those people abstained from voting at all, she could have won. So Melanchon is almost single-handedly responsible for giving Macron his victory. Melanchon decided that Macron was the lesser of two evils between Le Pen and Macron. Because Le Pen is a fascist and Macron is not. Macron's not a fascist, he's just a national socialist. He's just, a, he's just a national socialist with French characteristics. He's not a fascist. Le Pen is a fascist, though. Why? Because she's a conservative Christian? So Melanchon is the reason the establishment won. So is it just the establishment, though? No, it's not. It's not just the establishment. It's American geopolitical hegemony, and it's NATO. Because if you didn't know Le Pen, and I'll show this to you here, right? If you didn't know this, this is from Haratz, the Israeli newspaper. Le Pen has a Putin problem. So you depend on Russia, you depend on Putin. They all see her as a, a puppet of Putin. Why? Because Le Pen wants peace with Russia. She's pro-Russian and she wants peace with Russia. She met Putin before. She doesn't want war. She's not going to do NATO's bidding. So had Le Pen won, the geopolitical outcome is France is freed from NATO's grip. For the first time in its history, France is freed from NATO's grip. That would have been the concrete result of Le Pen's victory. Talk about the lesser of two fucking evils. So what you're going to reproach me with, and I can't wait to see the leftists reproach me with this, you're going to say, Haas, but Le Pen is a racist, and she would implement very racist policies within France. You want to know why that's not true? All you got to do is ask Mr. Melanchon himself. Because you see, Mr. Melanchon, as an extension of his shameless copium, said, actually, I can lead France as its prime minister. So Melanchon is now saying that he lost the presidency. That's okay, because in the summer, when they vote for who's going to be the prime minister, the prime minister is going to be able to veto the affirmative proposals from the government, which means... Mac uh, Melanchon is going to be able to cock block whatever Macron wants to do. Do you want to know what the problem with that is? There's almost nothing Macron wants to do that's worth allowing. You don't get anything positively. So what Melanchon is doing is he, he's, he's dreaming of this scenario where Macron is in power, but the left is relegated to this feminine position, this 
feminine hysteric position of like, you know, Macron is the daddy, but we're the wife, and the wife is like, no, we're gonna, yeah, that, that's what they, that's what he was aiming for, right, really, because the prime minister has the ability to, um, you know, to affect legislature and, and block and veto shit, right, um, one man is to turn to sideline them and restrict their powers. Even before the result is known tomorrow, the radical left leader Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who has emerged as a sunrise kingmaker, has called on voters to make him prime minister in the legislative elections in June. Mélenchon, a fervent opponent of both Macron and Marine Le Pen, pledged that if successful, he would force whoever wins the keys to the Elysi tomorrow into an uncomfortable par parliamentary cohabitation. And when hamstring efforts by them to pass reforms, the left opposes. The 70-year-old leader of La France Insoumise, who has promised to retire after his third presidential bid, said giving his party a majority in the ass-blasted national would make the election a third round. And why would it make the election a third round? Because... The legislative vote is in final party lines. Melanchon is determined to make it personal. Elect me as prime minister. And what can the prime minister do? I would be prime minister not by the grace and favor of Mr. Macron or Le Pen, but because the French wanted it. Um, so being a prime minister would let them hamstring efforts to pass reforms that the left opposes. You want to know what that fucking means? It means Macron is going to have these proposals and Melanchon is going to cock block them. And then guess what's going to happen? The left is going to become the scapegoat of France of why nothing can be done and why nothing can change. The left is just going to become a co the force of cock blockers, right? Okay. Now, imagine if Le Pen won and he was able to become prime minister. If Le Pen won, then you can have a left foreign policy of peace with Russia and fucking NATO in the back. You can, you can take on the EU even in a way that's favorable to the French working class. And then when Le Pen wants to do her racist shit that you're so worried about, you can block it in the same way you're proposing to block Macron's reforms. So I don't understand the reasoning behind seeing Macron as the lesser of two evils. If Le Pen is in power and you're scared of her scary racism and her banning of the hijab, well, you could just block it in the same way that you're planning on blocking Macron's neoliberal reforms. But the thing is, and this is the thing that sucks, you could have worked with Le Pen to implement pro-working class reforms. You could have also worked with Le Pen to implement a good foreign policy. And all while having the ability to block Le Pen's ability to do these kind of like racist reforms that you're scared of. In the case of Macron, you don't get anything out of it. He's not going to work with you to improve the lives of the French working class. And he's not going to work with you to have a better approach to dealing with Russia. He's not going to work with you on anything you want to get done. So what was the fucking reasoning for Melanchon to basically implicitly say to his supporters that Macron is the lesser of two evils? Now, we, we, Le Pen is a fascist. But you don't even know what you're fucking dealing with. This has happened at every turn. Bernie, Corbyn, Greece, Syriza, every fucking turn. This is what the left does. They always side with the capitalists. They always side with the banker. They always side with the establishment. They always side with the status quo. Because they're losers and they love losing. Why don't you debate a French Muslim on this? I will. I will debate anyone right now who wants to debate about it. I get that Muslims are like 10% of France and I get that Le Pen has a history of being anti-Muslim. But the majority of France is not Muslim. Focus on geopolitics. The problem is not France's domestic policy on Muslims. The problem is NATO's meddling in the affairs of Muslim countries. If you wanted an anti-imperialist foreign policy that benefits Islam, then you should have hoped for fucking Le Pen to win. Because she was going to fuck NATO over. But you're being selfish and focusing on the identity politics of French Muslims. That's very selfish and doesn't take into account the wider Muslim world. Isn't it supposed to be an ummah? But you're only focusing on what? The identity politics bullshit that Le Pen does? Holy fuck. Everything Le Pen wants to do to Muslims in France is resistible. It can be resisted. NATO can't be resisted. NATO has nukes.
It has nukes. You can't resist that. You can riot and sh I don't advocate for anything, but if you know if they if they ban the hijab, oh, that's gonna be an easy civil rights resistance movement. Easy peasy. NATO doing war? That's not easy peasy. That's fucked up. Look what they did in Libya. You know, you gotta look at the bigger fucking picture. Oh yeah, and also Macron was a extremely anti-Muslim. He was extremely anti-Muslim. So between Macron and Le Pen, Le Pen was the good the person. Le Pen was the right choice. You're de look at this dumbass. I can't fucking believe this. You're delusional if you think geopolitics is easier to shift than domestic policy. She won't be able to leave NATO. Yes, she will, dumbass. She will be able to... Yes, France is a way more independent country than you fucking think. France is the country that, like, helped end the fucking gold standard because Charles de Gaulle came with a fucking navy ship to the coast of the United States and demanded his fucking gold. France is way more independent than you think. Yes, Le Pen can easily undermine the security architecture of NATO and the NATO alliance. And if, it, if she can't outright leave NATO, she can fuck with it and really hamstring them. And you want to know who knew that? NATO itself knew that! The U.S. deep state themselves knew that. The whole fucking establishment was shitting their pants about Le Pen because of that very real possibility that she could have hamstrung NATO at worst or left NATO at best. She was the right person. But no, you had to go and, and make it seem like Macron was better than Le Pen. No, it's not that they're both the, the bad. It, Le Pen is better than Macron. Le Pen is better. She's better than Macron. Oh, she hurt your feelings? I'm a Muslim. Have thick skin. Holy fuck. Look at the bigger fucking picture. Yeah, and France would have left the EU too. Sure. Oh my god, it's not like Britain did that. You fucking dumbass. You seem to underestimate the possibility of chaos. And you, you're a dumbass for that. You seem to really underestimate the possibility to be able to do chaotic shit. That's the issue here. Le Pen was a populist. She was a populist. She would have, she could have governed with Melanchon in a, a like a populist government, and they could have done a lot. They could have really done a lot. They would have had the wiggle room and freedom to do a lot of things. And her is Islamophobic shit, whatever. Mac Melanchon could have blocked that. He could have prevented that if he became prime minister or if he shared a government with her. And at the end of the day, they're not going to prioritize the hijab shit. That right-wing shit that they do is just a, it's just a form of demagoguery to whip up the electorate against Muslims. It's demagoguery. It's about the establishment. Could have done a lot of fucking things with a Le Pen government. A lot of cool things. But no, nobody wants to, nobody wants chaos. Nobody loves chaos. I love chaos. I'm like Mao. I want to see chaos under heaven. I wanted to see Marine Le Pen win. But you don't like chaos. I'm, I'm, I'm more comfy with Macron. You are a cuck. You are a fucking cuck. Her entire politics is ultra-nationalism. Nothing else is real. So I know you're not a right-winger. You're a leftist. You're, but you're not a Marxist. So get the fuck out of my chat and literally suck a dick. That's not a materialist analysis. You're a lib. You're a fucking lib. You're a dumbass lib. Oh, I'm going to explain Le Pen in terms of an ideology. Just get the fuck out of here. What is that? That's materialism? Really? Ideology is what it's, what it's all about? Shut the fuck up. You are a liberal NPC. Can I, you know what? I'm going to go nuclear. I'm going nuclear. Le Pen was better than Melanchon. Le Pen was better than Melanchon. Melanchon is weak. Melanchon is a virtue signaler. Melanchon wants to implement the Green New Deal. Melanchon's movement are a bunch of fucking woke, wokeified fucking shit libs who were Americanized libs. Melanchon was becoming more like AOC. Le Pen was literally better than fucking Melanchon. He would have, if anyone was going to save NATO in a populist government, it wasn't going to be Le Pen, it would be Melanchon. Yeah, Melanchon's given, he's given good speeches about China, and he's written good books. But what has he done? He's fucked up uh, what could have been a good, what has he done? He's conceded to the left. And when I say left, I don't mean the real French left. I mean the Americanized, shitlib, digital citizen Reddit left. And by the way, 
Melanchon's little movement, there's a reason Jacobin praises it so much, because a few things have changed in the past few years when it comes to that Melanchon movement, is that they've become soyified, wokeified, Americanized fucking shit libs. They become the Jacobin left. Melanchon used to be based. Yeah, he w he used to be based. And then what happened? He did. He was based. I'm not going to fucking deny that. He was based. There was a time where Melanchon was based. I'm not denying that. I've never denied that. I would never deny that. What am I, a monster? I'm not denying that. The French Communist Party got canceled for being pro-meat. I, if, I, if I had to choose between Melanchon and Le Pen, I'd choose Le Pen. She's literally better than him. You know, leftists are really the fucking problem. You know, they are really the problem. I'm not kidding. They're, they're, they're the vanguard of the fucking establishment. Everywhere, it's like everywhere in the world now, they're the problem. They're, when they're, they're becoming Americanized all over Europe. They're all Americanized. Where are you saying Greek God X in chat? Where? Who's saying that? Is that the real Greek God X? Oh my God, it's the real Greek God X. Is it? Because like, no, why would someone make a fake account of Greek God X? No, why would someone make a fake account of him? He's not a meme in our community. I've never talked about him before. Never interacted with him. You fetishize transgression for the sake of it. Esoteric, you're a fucking dumbass. You think this is about trans... What's more transgressive? People who are getting canceled over being pro-meat? Or someone who's just, yes, a bigot, but is anti-NATO and would cause chaos? I mean, like, what, what are you fucking talking about? I like being transgressive for its own sake. The left is literally the most transgressive group. And they are literally the vanguard of the ruling class. They are literally the fucking vanguard of the ruling class. So, additionally, let's look at this. So, what does this mean? So, 17% so voted for Le Pen, 42 for Macron. I don't know who this fucking guy is. Nobody changed their mind for Le Pen from the Macron side. Who? I want to know who the 10% of Eric Zemmour voters voted for Macron. I would love to know what 10% of Eric Zemmour voters did that. Looks like Melanchon handed Macron his W. Everyone clap for the anti-fascist hero. Ma I'm just kidding. Fuck Melanchon for doing that shit. Cringe ass shit. The pro-NATO candidate. So let's see. He's a centrist. Okay. And look at that. He won by 10%, which is like literally tipped by the Melanchon voters. Significantly narrower than the 63 he won in the, a few years ago. They called for immediate unity in their respective camps with the aim of thwarting Macron's second term. No, they didn't. Oh, wait. The parliamentary elections. So now they're, are they getting their act together now? Now Melanchon's getting his act together? I don't fucking know. In his victory speech at the foot of the Eiffel Tower, he vowed to respond efficiently to the anger and disagreement of voters who chose the far right and calling on supporters to be kind and respectful. Le Pen said her result was a striking victory. She feels hope. <coughs> Schultz and Ursula <coughs> von der Leyen. And British Prime Minister Boris Johnson congratulated Macron. Oh, oh, when Boris congratulates you, you know you're on the right side. Crowd gathering at the Place de la République in Paris. Calm now, but the square surrounded by riot police. Youngsters have come to express dissatisfaction with the election. I wonder which youngsters those are. Look at this, Macron. This is the Macron march. Look at this Macron march. Are they actually playing Ode to Joy? These are like all the children of like the biggest billionaires in France, probably, right? Whole lot of cringe. French President Emmanuel Macron has won a second term, defeating far-right challenger Marine Le Pen. But the margin is projected to be closer than their first face-off in 2017, when he won by more than 30 percentage points. International statesman who can offer substance abroad and be all Oh my god, they vote right next to each other? ...things to everyone at home. In the second round of French elections, many voters traditionally hold their noses as they cast their ballot. Yeah, I don't think they need to hold their noses because they have to wear masks. But ...because they have to vote tactically and not with their heart. Ah, uh, she's not masked up. This is clearly a Le Pen supporter. Reluctantly, librarian Caroline Alzieux voted for Macron. I voted for one of them. I voted for Macron. The reason why? But not out of... Because if Macron does not win, there will be no more baguettes. And there will be no more Paris and the Eiffel Tower. 
Will calm down. I believe in the why the EU is so fucking cringe. You know, EU is so fucking cringe. Like EU fucking people are like passion, liberty, humanity, basic values that we all believe in. Liberté, be not Henry Levy. C'est la vie, live and let live. We are not like the Islamic fundamentalist or the Putin, live and let live. We are free Europeans, we go to the beach and we go, you cannot do this if you are of the Islamic. You cannot do this if you are of, from the Russia. You cannot do this if you are from China. But we, c'est la vie, passion and life. We are European. European values. It's the fuck up, man. Voted to prevent civil war. Like, like you'd think, okay, you're you're so free, but you you look like you're th fucking musty as hell. Look at this fashion. Look at this European fashion, and I noticed it immediately. So what is this? What is this shit she's wearing on her neck? She looks like every European fashion. It's just like leave and let leave. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Why don't you get a new fucking wardrobe? I go to L. A. Or New York or anywhere in this country of America and people actually look like freedom. This looks like your fucking look what is this dumb fucking shit Europeans wear? I voted for one of them, but not out of uh, belief or passion. I just voted to prevent civil war like the one If Macron did not win, there will be civil war. And if there is a civil war, there will be no more croissant. There will be no more cafe at Paris. No more baguettes. No more baguettes. Bubble baths. I am a librarian. I believe in freedom. You had to See, Europeans don't stand for shit. You know, in America, we believe in swag. When we say freedom in America, we mean like the freedom to do LSD, Molly, crack cocaine, and crystal meth all at once at a rave while naked in an orgy doing crazy shit i don't endorse that but if you're gonna posture as like freedom and shit don't at least like smoke crack or some shit don't just fucking wear librarian clothes and be like, i am so free you're not fucking free you're really uptight actually in this country you'd be considered pretty uptight during the trump presidency Artist. everything i just said was in grand theft auto and it was a joke Raphael Onfray was also underwhelmed by macron as president but did what she believed was her civic duty i just voted for someone i i disagree with and i don't really appreciate so. glasses are we gonna talk about the glasses thing or no not yet are we not talking about the glasses thing yet okay we're not there yet well, I'm not supposed to say that, but yes. Can I ask you how concerned... We're not going to talk about that glasses thing yet. We're not there yet, but that's y'all ain't ready for that one. You are about the prospects of a Le Pen presidency. Uh, well, for the first time, I'm very scared. But not as scared as France's approximately 6 million Muslim. Le Pen has promised to ban headscarves in public places and to hold a referendum on immigration. At the North African-inspired Great Mosque in Paris, community leaders have made their disdain for Le Pen abundantly clear. How afraid are you of a Le Pen presidency? For moi, ce n'est pas He is not a real Muslim. He does not. He wears Western clothing. For me, it's not a scenario I can envision. But if we imagine... Bro, I don't want to talk to this guy. Talk to the fucking chef with a giant beard and a fucking turban. Who is this fucking guy? This is like a fucking... Who is this guy? is elected this is like an attorney this isn't the leader of the muslim community Chemzadin hafiz is rector of the great mosque i think this guy's corrupt he looks corrupt to me he's very europeanized and speaks on behalf of all france's muslims liberal corruption she nourishes she carries values that are racist and divisive yeah that's lib shit talking this is saint denis one of the that's a white dude larping as an arab and most diverse districts in France. Its deputy mayor, Leila Timel, is a socialist of Turkish heritage. The area is hostile to Macron, but she says he has to be elected. It's not a vote for his policies, but it's a rallying call for democracy, for the Republic, and against the National Front. And Malcolm joins us now from the Macron campaign election. Bruh, this dude ribbit, 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 
night headquarters at the foot of the Eiffel Tower. It's good to have you with us. And this campaign, as I understand it, was beset by, by apathy. But in the end, Macron looks to have won a clear victory that surpassed his polling them. How did he pull that off? This has been a vote for the soul of France. The numbers look impressive, don't they? 58% for, for Macron and 42% for Le Pen. And that looks, if you looked at the pure numbers, as being a great victory. But it's not a triumph. Ma Emmanuel Macron was here tonight talking to his supporters and also to the nation. And he recognized that the people did not vote for his program. The reason why they voted for him in such large numbers was that they just couldn't stomach the thought. Ah, uh, where have I heard this shit before? It's almost like I heard this shit when in 2020 and in 2016. It's shut the fuck up, dude. Oh, it's not like we like Biden. We just don't like Trump. Well, I like Trump and I like Le Pen. I want them to win. Why can't, why can't chaos win? Why can't you just give chaos a chance? Why do you have to be such a cuck? Well, what do you have to lose? What do you have to fucking lose? Your glasses. I get it. You have to lose your glasses. Your glasses would fall off and you wouldn't be able to see. Marine Le Pen and her right wing idea. That's what you have to lose. Your fucking glasses. Is, uh, being in the Elysee Palace, which is where the president lives. And so he, he knows... Like, what do you have to fucking lose? This is a country that's divided, and he has uh, was certainly not triumphalist at all. He knows that there's an awful lot of work to do to heal this country and to try to appeal to, to uh, uh, Madame Le Pen's supporters to prove that he is a president for all of France. So, Malcolm, what does all this mean, then? What this really means is a continuation of stability, and it's really important, actually, f for NATO, because it means that there's going to be no disruption, and that's what would have happened if... <laughs> I feel like there's been a painting of this guy in the fucking 1600s and he had a he had a powdered wig and he's he's David Hume the philosopher. The pen had got into the Elysium. I say that my analysis of the French betrays a stunning lack of neck meat and my neck is very bombastic. I have a very bombastic neck, and it shows the gargantuan elephantine stature and grandeur of the British Empire. Palace. It's also very bad news for the Kremlin because he would have liked Le Pen to win because it would have. You want to take a big bite out of my neck? I'm sure you would love to take a big bite out of my neck. It looks very chumpy and delicious, like a big. Juicy mutton, a cake, if you will, flopping and flabbergasting my sweaty neck. That's disgusting, that's degenerate, I'm not gonna say this shit. This is the cringy, it's like, they should have done a Fortnite fucking event. Um, but, um, I think it was a fairly confident leader. Yay, World War Three. Tonight, where people thought that he might just- Nuclear war! Just get across- Woo! Nuclear war is now more probable than ever before. The line. Keep in mind, Marine Le Pen was described as a far-right candidate that was just too radical to ever take the keys to the Eliso Palace five years ago. She has softened her image, but it's still the substance that many have been concerned about. The Eurosceptic nature. The Eurosceptic nature. I think it's a good thing for the Les for democracy. Monsieur Macron is de nouveau notre president and we are content. For Europe, it's the best thing that can happen. Look at this fucking cringe Ukraine shit. Ukraine! <laughs> Insane for Ukraine! What are my thoughts on French women? Uh... It depends when they turn around and uh, walk away from the camera. Monsieur Macron était bien sûr pro Europe, alors que Madame Le Pen pas du tout. I'm gonna say, y'all, give me a little spin, you know. And then we'll see what what I think of French women, honestly. J'espère que le second mandat de Monsieur Macron sera quand même différent. Il faut absolument que on soit plus à l'écoute de ces personnes qui votent extrême. Il y a bien euh, une raison pour cela. J'ai voté blanc parce que je n'aime pas Marine Le Pen. This is a this is an average EU guy with opinions. You think people in ancient Rome were like this? I don't like the Julius Caesar guy. <laughs> They're so opinionated. Urban people, urbanites. A lot of opinions.
Of course he voted for Melanchon. Of course he did. I could tell. I like <laughs> just predicted it. I was literally gonna say that. I was literally gonna say I like the environment. I swear to God, I was literally just about to say that. I was just about to fucking say that. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> I knew it. I know these people. I literally can read these people. I know what I'm talking about. Le Pen is better. I literally knew it. He'll be a little more environmentalist. We'll see. Yeah, average EU global citizen with opinions. Well, I, can't, I could tell by his posture that that was the type of dude this was. Well, I just care about the environment. I'm a very conscientious guy. I want to save the coral reefs. And I want to make sure that in, there is enough uh, um, giraffes in Africa. I want to preserve the Amazon rainforest. But the environment is very important. I care a lot about the environment. I literally knew. I literally knew that was what we're fucking dealing with. Let me tell you one of the biggest chads in France. So, <laughs> this is one of the biggest chads in France, right? One of the biggest chads in France. Ready? He's kind of cringe, but he's he's a bit chad. I'm not gonna lie. Just for this, all right? Just for this. Ready? I got him in the pose I want. Okay. This dude, Alain Badu, who just doesn't vote. Every election, he writes an article that's like, no, I will not vote. No, I don't think I will vote. Oh, I will not vote. Every elect every election come around, I will not vote. He's like a like a philosopher who just doesn't vote. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> every election he just says he doesn't vote. <laughs> He's like mm, I will not vote. I will not vote. <laughs> not this time. Not this time. <laughs>